All right, guys, welcome to our 32nd and last video of our HTML and CSS series. Congratulations on all of you making it through this course. So in the last video, I showed you some affordable web hosting providers and noted that once you pick a domain name and a web hosting provider, that that web hosting provider will grant you FTP access. And the three pieces of FTP that your host is going to give you is a host name, a username, and a password that you could either use theirs or create your own. Now we need an FTP program or application to take our folder, which is right here on our computer on our desktop. Let's get iTunes out of here. We need to take this folder and we need to put it on our web hosting provider's server. So we need an FTP program. Every website in the world has an FTP, a file transfer protocol, which is the middleman that takes the files we have right here and puts them on our web host's server. So we need to download an FTP. I recommend downloading either File FileZilla or Transmit because they are both free. So let's go ahead and download FileZilla. So I'll open up a new tab. I'll type in FileZilla. Uh, if you're on a PC, go FileZilla for PC. We're on a Mac, so I'm going to go FileZilla for Mac. FileZilla project.org Mac OS X. Okay, this looks good. And go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. And I already have it right here on my uh, on my dock right here. So I'm not going to download it. But you can put it on your dock. You don't have to. I use FileZilla pretty much every day. So I like to have it on handy on hand right here. So go ahead and download it. If you don't want to have it on your dock, just have it in your program or applications folder and just source it and open it up. So let's open up FileZilla. Here's a brief little rundown. On your left hand side, this is all your files on your computer. And on your right hand side, this is the files that are on your server. Now we're not even connected to it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And I'm going to use a website that I'm making right now. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this information. And nine times out of ten, your host name is just your domain name. So it's like www.villageparkmedia.com. This guy's website is, what happened here? Okay, www.hardysandiego.com. It's a real estate agent. It's actually my uncle. And we're going to go ahead and copy his admin username. And I'm going to probably have to blur all this out when I create the video. So right now I can see it. But when you guys watch it, you're not going to be able to see his password and stuff. So... Quick connect, see if it works. Okay, and his password definitely worked. Okay, so now we're on his server. And all he has right now is he's hosting with GoDaddy. Is uh, They give you like a default welcome.html page that looks something like this. Just kind of like the disclaimer page that somebody has paid for hosting, but the web developer, the web guy is not ready to put the folder online or it's, he's going to make it as he goes. It's kind of a work in progress. But our website's done. So what I need to do now is I need to go to, I'll start from the top. So we're going to go to users. Here's my name. And we go to desktop. And the only thing we have on our desktop is our folder. Now I'm not going to take our whole folder and drag it over here because I just want the contents inside of our folder. So double click it and open it up. And here's all of our stuff. Because if we just drag the folder and throw it over, it'll be like, to, to access our domain would be like www.villageparkmedia.com forward slash uh, village park. So I don't want that. I just want it to be www.villageparkmedia.com. So this is what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the top file right here. Click on it. Scroll down and push shift right here. Now grab all this stuff and make sure all this is highlighted. Drag it over here and delete this HTML, this welcome.html page. So once you do that, actually you can do this first. Delete your welcome.html page first and then find your folder. Open up all the contents inside and drop all the files in there and your website is going to be live. So again, congratulations to all you guys who made it this far. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave me a message or email me. And uh, again, good luck with everything.